Um, I'm calling because you know, I'm a college student and I live, uh, you know, active kind of all over the place lifestyle. Yeah. And I'm on a low budget, and so I'm just asking how people like me can uh, eat animal based, but also kind of live that you know, idealistic lifestyle as well. Yeah, yeah. love it, man. Um, firstly, I just want to celebrate you for being a college person that oh is gosh. asking this question. Because <laughs> I amazing. think we all look back and say, man, I wish I'd have started this thing earlier, you know? Um, nobody regrets starting sooner, so you're in a good spot, my friend. And the good news is, you know, it, it's possible to do an animal-based diet on a very budget-friendly kind of accommodation. Of course, this might mean a little bit of um, sacrificing certain areas of pristine quality, mm -hmm. right? We might not be able to get fully regenerative, grass-fed and finished, this, that, and the other. And, you know, we might not be able to get the pasture-raised eggs. But we also, again, we're not striving for perfection here. We know that those are the level-up behaviors that we talk about. They're not the foundational pillars. And again, the foundation is really what we want to build on. So I think about going in the grocery store and buying, you know, these huge crates of eggs that are, 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 are incredibly cheap. And again, Costco. it's it's on your budget to see where you can stretch that to and always go to the kind of top end of that. But also knowing that eggs are very cheap and dairy and yogurt is very high in protein and mm -hmm. it's very cheap and ground beef is very high and mm -hmm. it's very cheap. And you can get these foods at a pretty budget friendly option. And I think sometimes it can be a little scary for people because they are in this lifestyle. They want to prioritize quality as much as possible, but also we've got to meet you where you're at, right? And you've got to meet your budget where it's at. And sometimes it might mean that, you know what? We'll get to that once college is done and we're out in the big bad world earning that money, then we can level up to all of this grass fed and organic, this, that, and the other. But right now your health is paramount and priority and you could do this in a very budget friendly way. So Dylan, talk to me about like, you, you get this question a lot, I imagine through the so health much. success team. What is some of the tangible strategies you use to keep this kind of accessible for people? Yeah, I think you, you covered like a large majority of it. I was just going to add a little bit of my personal experience because, you know, going through undergrad and then going to my master's program through PA school, I had to be low budget. And yeah. unfortunately the, you know, the beginning parts of those phases, I wasn't, I didn't know what nutrition did to my body. I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't think about it much, but I began to learn about nutrition in PA school. I was one of the few programs out there that actually had two full semesters of nutrition. And I really began diving into this field and this is why I'm here today. But just sticking to any type of ground beef, right? Don't get caught up with the grass fed, grass finish. I don't know if you could do like a Costco membership, but I had right, a Costco membership right. and I was ab actually able to get grass fed ground beef for like six bucks a pound and yeah. a lot of it. And the eggs that you can get from Costco, there's a bunch of it, but I don't think you necessarily need a Costco membership in order to do this. You can still even go to Walmart. And I would advise you to look at Dr. Paul Saladino's Carnivore MD's video on how to eat animal based, I think for $10 a day. Yeah. And it's it's very eye opening. You can get your fruit, you can get your organic honeys, you can get all of these animal based foods at a pretty reasonable price for anyone like you and like I experienced during um, that time of my life. Uh, on a low budget. Yeah, and I think another thing is coming as you're speaking is also like the unconventional cuts, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you're probably not gonna be <laughs> dining on a diet full of ribeyes and fillets, but you yeah, can get oxtail 100%. and beef shanks oh and gosh. also buco cuts, and you can mm -hmm. kind of go for these kind of, um, you know, just less, uh, you know, less popular cuts and find them really cheaply and shop the deals. And if when you find the deals, you know, it might mean that you spend a hundred bucks up front, but then you can put that in your freezer and you're gonna have it for a long time. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of ways to yeah. work around this and of course we have to finish with the organ piece because 100%. that's the beautiful thing about organs yeah. is they are pretty cheap now i know sometimes especially being in college you might not have access um you know to great grocery stores to find these or even access to potentially being able to cook these in the way that you would like so we want to hook you up as well as a thank you for joining the show and we're going to make sure we get you with our success team to send you a bottle of beef yeah. organs as well to support you on this endeavor but i hope that was helpful griffin and, and it's a very important question because we do believe and 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 uh, know that this diet is accessible and can be accessible for everyone yeah and it's just about a little bit of planning a little bit of you know shopping those deals being able to go for the cheaper cuts yeah. and you can be radically healthy with a you know a radical budget yeah i think just one one thing to add there if this is something that you can do if you have a group of friends that 
love this lifestyle that's looking to save money, like doing a cow share mm. can be, I mean, set you up for the year. Yeah. You know, so very true. I hope that helps Griffin. How are you feeling? Yeah, that was, that was super helpful. Thank you guys so much for uh, having me and answer my question. So, yeah, man. Great starting point. Thanks Sweet. for joining us. Thanks. Enjoy those organs. Okay. We'll yeah. see you soon. Hello friends, if you enjoyed that clip, then you can watch the entire thing by heading to this link over here, or you can find us wherever you find podcasts by searching Radical Health Radio. If there's value here, please hit that like button, let us know in a comment what your biggest takeaway was, and hit subscribe, support the show as we support you. We'll see you soon.